Grace Christian School family. It's good to be back with you again. Mr. Ryan, here we are. We're talking to one of the camera. I don't see any students out there yet. <laughs> so listen. Is anybody this, back there? Are you this, listening? This is our weekly announcement, and um, boy, we miss you guys. Um, but uh, so you hear it now. Remote learning will continue for the week of eight, April 27th through May 1st. Our, no kidding. Our school offices are going to be open uh, 9 to 3, and uh, we do have some activity. Uh, we're still giving out tours, and uh, we've got some live, some digital. Um, there's a lot of growth uh, still going on, though our school campus isn't open right now our admissions department certainly is uh, we have a new facility that's being put together for our middle schoolers next year we're excited to be able to showcase that um, boy the students that have seen it already are pretty thrilled about it and uh, there's just a lot of activity here even though mr ryan here we are talking yep. into a camera again yep so <sighs> listen mr ryan uh, has been overseeing uh, a lot of the development of our online school we're in a fourth week right now look at that you can put that on a resume you launched a digital school How about i'd that? rather not <laughs> uh let's i wish we didn't have to have that on a resume anywhere this is one thing that i wish we would have never experienced but we are and we're getting through it you know um parents one of the couple things i just wanted to take a ch chance to chat with you about and really give you some encouragement on the side is we've moved from face-to-face -face teaching and learning to teaching from a distance as we're talking to you through a camera right now and teachers it's a hard thing for them to be able to read a child's face are they grasping it are they getting it um did they have that aha moment that proverbial light bulb turn on we can't see that now and we need your help in this area so if you could be our eyes and ears for the teachers uh, make sure you have it. If you see that your child's just even a little bit frustrated or, or a bit confused, not understanding the video that they maybe watched or the assignment that they're going through and they don't not quite getting the directions, reach out to the teachers, please. Um, I'd like to say you can picture them sitting by the computer waiting for your email, uh, <laughs> but they will. They'll get back to you, and they'll be able. To, they may set up a small group because there might be a couple kids that are not getting it. As we would do in a classroom, we would pull the children aside and say, okay, I'm going to help with this child, this child, and this child because they need a little extra help in area. We would still love to do that, whether it's through a small chat video or even just a personal phone call to your child and help out. Even if it's you, mom and dad, if you're not quite grasping something or understanding it, please feel free to reach out to the teacher. They want to help out. They want to, we want to be there for you and help your child get through this and help you get through this as well. You know, one of the other areas that's a challenge, it's... You know, we're in unfamiliar waters, but we're finding familiar problems, like reading directions. You know, it's funny. You know, they don't read directions whenever they're in school, much less now they're removed from us. I know your wives, all the wives are pointing at their husbands about not reading directions or following directions because, you know, you tell us to go find our socks and we can only find one and you find two of them right away. But it's, it's true. The kids sometimes are jumping to a conclusion. They may go and quickly get to the their assignment instead of watching the teacher's video, the instructional side of that. And if there's any confusion, again, reach out to the parent or the teacher as well, but encourage the kids to make sure that we can see if uh, they're watching the videos. Not necessarily which ones watched it or not, but we can tell how many views have happened. And a number of the views have trickled down a little bit. Uh, I've seen in some schools posts, it's called the vanishing student, it seems like. Everybody's just trying to get their work done. Honestly, the big thing that I want us to try to focus on is, is that I'm not really worried about a checklist of things being done. I want to make sure the students are learning. I'd rather have, as I said it before, learners, not great earners. Uh, so, Mom and Dad, if you can help us out with that part of it and being part of our eyes and ears is making sure the kids are following through and watching the instructional videos, too. That will help them. And if there's any confusion with it, please reach out to the teachers. They want to be here for you. We're going to plug away through this. The end is in sight. Uh, you know, the light at the end of the tunnel is not a train. Thank goodness. <laughs> but uh, we'll get through this, and Lord willing, we'll see what transpires. And I'm hoping and praying we can do something to get kids back together. Um, Lord willing, in some way, yeah. shape, or form, we're, we're throwing some ideas together. Um, watch out. We'll come up with maybe a few surprises coming your way in the next week or so. We'll see what happens. But uh, we're praying for you. We love you. And we miss you very much. That's good, Mr. Ron. I appreciate it. And there's a lot that we're talking about. Uh, as we move into the summer, uh, typically we get a Memorial Day and everybody heads for the hills and says, leave me alone for a while. But I think by the time we get into a couple of months of being in the houses, if we are able, uh, you know, in, the, in a reasonable way, in a, 
uh, uh, in the right way to be able to gather back together in some capacity. We, we are exploring and looking at ways maybe over the summer we could take advantage of some opportunities for our students, whether it be in athletics or junior, senior prom, kindergarten graduation, certainly senior graduation. Guys, I've said it before. You're going to hear me say it again. We are going to honor our seniors this year, Mr. Ryan. They're going to get a live graduation. Oh, we got to do it on the moon. We're going to, we're going to do it somewhere. <laughs> Um, we've got a social distance, whatever it is. There's going to be cap and gown. And, and students, i got to tell you this. Look, um, you've been having 18 birthdays up to this point. Some of you had a 19th birthday. Look, there's a lot of good gifts for birthday. Graduation pays the best. Grandma really ponies up for that one. So we got we got to make sure they get they get honored uh, through graduation. we got something special lined up. Uh, I don't want to kind of give too much away. Yeah. Uh, but by next week, um, we've got some things in the works that our seniors are going to be honored in a really special way that you're going to be able to see. Uh, around the community. And just as the last thing, I want to give a thanks to our Grace Christian families uh, that have been real supportive over our COVID relief fund, um, our disaster relief fund. There are a lot of families that have been affected, and I've been working with a lot of them, getting to know them. Um, There's a lot of challenges that go along with this, and we've seen the Grace Christian family gather together, and uh, thank you for your generosity. If you haven't given yet and you just want to, uh, God's blessed you with some ability to uh, Hmm. pass it forward and pay it along uh, to maybe help a family that's struggling, uh, whether struggling with something uh, just on their own on a personal level or having their children be able to stay enrolled uh, with grace as we move forward in next year's enrollment uh, we want to help every dollar that you might give goes directly to help families that are in need through this so we've got a link that's been a part of our uh, crusader connect take a look for that and uh well i hope we're gonna see him again might be through a camera next week but uh (laughs) until next time guys we love you take care all right take care bye-bye